Hello all. So after second project of DevOps where we had created the GitLab CI CD pipeline along with the uh, AWS, right? So post that what I have done. So last was this one, right? Where we had tried to ask like end to end integration of AWS along with the GitLab CI YAML. So that will be the first thing firstly is like simple ci cd creation second is to end to end creation along with the ci yaml project and uh, along with deployment till the cloud so integration of that and then triggering the pipeline so it will get deployed over there right so today we will see how can we easily standardize little bit our project that could also be the important thing right so as i said last time I had created this time a new Maven project. I, it was an open source. So I just copied from there and uploaded over here. So here what happens here is one Jenkins uh, like one folder is here where like deliver.sh there's one file from th here they must be calling in the Jenkins, right? So what we are going to do, we have kept as such. We don't have to do much things from the Jenkins. Uh, here we have our code in app right uh, here yeah so here we have and we will just try maybe it will not work very much but we will see how how should be the approach to create the pipeline to standardize little bit right so let's see suppose suppose you have you have like you have your own repo where you are working in the office or wherever you are right and post that once you are working over here then you will see right uh, all the codes and everything is here so what you have to do firstly you have to create as usual gitlib ci yaml pipeline so that we have to here we are going to create with the chat gpt else it will take a lot of time right so we will just directly go and say please create a gitlab ci yaml with maven build right please create gitlab ci ml with maven build let's take this first it has given us yaml right so firstly we will soon create the yaml first so it will be easy for us so then we can enhance over there so here uh, suppose I'll create one am GitLab CI dot YAML. Yeah. Okay. Let's commit this. It should work. Okay. Now we have our pipeline file which is successfully created now, right? This is created. This is the Maven and all the stages and everything has been added. We have main, we don't have master. We can change this here itself. If possible, we'll just change this to M A I N main comment. It should get committed. Right. Starting the pipeline also. We have just one build. So one build should be here. Maven build is here. Uh, we may get the errors, but still at least build is running, right? So that you have to do. Rest of the things. Okay. Let's see how to enhance little bit. Okay. So what we are going to do after that, once we create the YAML, in Jenkins, you see there's a file where he had like in this project, whoever has written this. So these SH like bash commands he has to run. So we'll just copy this and we'll create one bash file over there. Okay, so suppose I'll just create from here itself. You can take a pull and create on local. I'll create what? Uh, script dot sh I'll create like this 
paste here commit right i've commented this it is present on the main branch now we have script.sh also now what i am going to do i am just asking the chat gpt on the same gitlab yaml please add these commands sorry on the gitlab yaml no we'll just rephrase this on this gitlab yaml how can we call our sh file which is present in the project repo see what it will say okay so it is saying it is saying maven clean package and then we have to provide the what we have to provide the path of the repo right so let's do this copy only script part and we can also provide the artifacts as well we'll just copy this part okay we'll just go we'll open the id itself we'll try where did it after image we do we need maven latest it's written here no we'll just yeah it's written here so we'll just go after the maven yeah inside the script is already here so inside the script we just have to provide these two okay just copy and paste after these commands okay paths to your script sh my script shs are here only so i don't think i have to provide anything i'll just remove this if it's not we'll just provide the main name also project name okay script sh ch mod script sh we'll see it's just an example how can we create and keep our command that we have to run separately in a file so we can directly make a clean build right so at least it should get called we'll just see we'll see the logs together okay errors are there of course error will be there compilation error itself are there that is okay but at least it has gone to main clean package and then it was installing installing downloading downloading and then it got me error of compilation error package jupyter and this does not exist okay 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 no problem no problem no problem yeah no problem right so at least we are able to syntax and everything is correct and we can reach out to our sh file at least right okay suppose let's try i'm just trying this could also be wrong but still i'm just trying for now just comment this 
So this is how you can do in the three steps also where you can include the SH file and keep your all long scripts in the SH file. So you can directly call in your GitLab. You don't have to write under the script. So you don't have to unnecessarily make your GitLab file so long. Okay, Maven latest, checking, git remote. Okay, see, these both, at least it's worked, right? It has not given us error, any scriptural error. Yeah, of course, because some variables or some things are not present, that's okay. But at least our scripts are getting called, right? So that's how you can keep it. Just you have to provide the path and it will work. So whatever the scripts you will provide. Pro path and also, to provide the access by chmod. Now I will do again and it will go as regular. Right. So this is how you can keep your commands in the bash script. Whatever you need to run either docker or whatever. It's up to you. Here all these things are regarding these all things they are echoing, then jar files, installing maven, evaluate, yeah, this is maven command for jar maybe, right? So these all things are happening. Yeah, it's wrong of course, but that's how you can keep it. So what's that? Yeah. Let me open this if this opens. Okay, leave it. Okay. I'm just making it big so we can see. I'll leave this. I'll just write here only. Jamboard. I'll open a Jamboard. Yeah. So these are the steps, right? First, CI/CD for Maven or Gradle. Then next, AWS environment setup then trigger jobs and status next is then you can move towards keep your script separately keep your commands or script which needs to run separately in an like suppose sh file right so it will be easy and your gitlab ci ml will not be that long so see suppose yeah i'll just go back wait Suppose in this GitLab YAML itself, if I had to keep all these SH commands here, there only, then my SH file, uh, my GitLab file will be so long, right? So we, we can like easily when we can keep in an SH script, so we can easily call here and it will get executed as usual, right? So why, why we need to keep here? So it should be better practice to keep in a SH file. That's what the motive is. So this is the uh, third thing you can do once you are able to do those things, right? I guess it will be better and uh, it will have a good practice to provide the things properly. Like that's how we do in real time. Sure. Thank you.